This is how students at the Technology Club at John McGregor Secondary School typically spend part of their lunch break, working on a race car. They've been at it for about eight months. The students have been doing everything from welding to research. Instructor James Stonehouse says they've learned a lot. The first thing they would have to do is look up the car itself. Uh, if, through the Chime Kent Public Library database system, there's a Chilton online manual. So they went in and found out about the 95 Dodge Intrepid and how to remove things as if they were going to uh, repair it so that we could put the parts aside. So they did all of the research up front and then they started using the specialized tools and things that are required to remove seats and air conditioning systems and how to recover the Freon and all of the different things that we needed to do in order to prepare this car for the race. The students are proud of number 57. It's the first race car John McGregor Secondary has had in its 57 year history. They even modified the school's motto a tiny bit for the car. Stonehouse says they've learned about more than auto mechanics with the project. The research, of course, but some geometry and physics as they put together the protective roll cage designed to keep the driver safe as well. Even some graphic design work for the decals and their placement. They also learned they can't drive the car. Insurance won't let students or staff race cars, but it is seeing action. Grade 10 automotive student Harley Hornick figured out a solution. looked into it and found out that the Delaware Speedway was offering to provide drivers for a high school challenge at no risk to the school board. So she took the proposal to the principal, Mr. Sherman at that time, and he took it to the board and they got the okay to run this program. Finishing touches in place, the students were anxious to let the racing begin, while instructor James Stonehouse knows they've already won the most important part of the race. Simon Crouch, BlackburnNews.com. Thank you.